Hi, today we are going to see regarding various oxygen delivery devices through this video. The first and foremost is the nasal canola or nasal prongs. It is a plastic device with two proprietary rooting prongs which fits easily into the nozzles. It is the delivery method of choice for infants, toddlers, older children and adolescents require an oxygen flow rate up to 2 liters per minute. It does not interfere with eating, talking, etc., and it is still tolerated. The oxygen does not need to be humidified, as it directly passes into the nasal passages, where it is humidified by body's natural humidification mechanism, by the mucosal layer of the upper respiratory tract. The ideal flow rate is 2 liter for newborns and infants and 4 liter for older children. The oxygen concentration is 24% to 44%. This is the oxygen mask. Simple oxygen mask is made up of clear, flexible plastic or rubber that can be molded to fit the face. It delivers 35% to 60% of oxygen at the flow rate of 6 to 10 liter of oxygen per minute. It has strengths on the sides of the mask, favors the entry of room air inside the mask and dilute the oxygen and also allows the exhale carbon dioxide to escape. The oxygen has to be humidified in order to prevent drying of the nasal mucosa. If no concentration of oxygen is administered, that is less than 4 liter per minute, then there is a risk of carbon dioxide retention inside the mask. The partial rebreathing mask. It is similar to that of the face mask, but in addition, it has got the oxygen reservoir bag and the side ports. It is used to deliver oxygen concentration up to 80%. The side ports are covered with one-day discs to prevent the entry of room air into the mask and facilitate the carbon dioxide exhalation. During inspiration, the child inspires the oxygen, which is coming from the reservoir bag. During expiration, some amount of carbon dioxide is being blown into the reservoir bag, and the remaining will be exhaled out. The very little amount of carbon dioxide in the bag will be inhaled on subsequent inspiration. That's why, the mask is termed as partial rebreathing mask. High concentration mask, also called as non-rebreathing mask. This masks provide the highest concentration of oxygen, that is 95% to 100%, at a flow rate of 6 to 15 liter per minute. It is similar to the partial rebreathing mask, but it has got three one-way valves, which prevents the entry of room air into the mask and prevent the entry of exhaled carbon dioxide into the reservoir bag. When patient inhales the port valve in the side of the oxygen mask closes and the valve in the reservoir opens, allowing the 100% oxygen to flow in. When patient exhales, the valve in the reservoir closes and all the expired air is expelled into the atmosphere and not into the reservoir bag. In this way, the patient is not rebreathing any of the expired gas. The, the Venturi mask. It is the high flow concentration of oxygen delivering device. It is a type of mask with the color coded jets are attached to the mask to deliver desired amount of oxygen. Each color code corresponds to a precise oxygen concentration and a specific ritual flow. For example, blue delivers 24% of oxygen, white delivers 28%, orange 31%, yellow 35%, red 40% and green 60% of oxygen. It has also been called as an entrainment mark as it has got a nozzle of waving sizes in the color-coded jets to accelerate the oxygen flow and mix with the air in a precise ratio. The chances of carbon dioxide retention is very low in this case. Tracheal mark. It is used to deliver oxygen to patients with tracheostomy tube in situ. The oxygen has to be humidified as it bypasses the natural humidification provided by the mucosal layer of upper respiratory tract. It can provide total ventilatory requirements. This is the oxygen hood. It is ideal for infants. It consists of a rigid plastic dome that encloses an infant's head. It provides a precise oxygen level and high humidity. Oxygen can be delivered at 10 to 15 liter per minute. The gas should not be allowed to blow directly into the infant's face. Food should not rub against infant chin, neck or shoulder. Oxygen tent. It comprises a transparent plastic curtain which surrounds the head and shoulders but it's open at the bottom. These are seldom used 
since they deliver extremely variable, and often inadequate, concentration of oxygen. They are useful in children, who require low concentration, of oxygen but, are intolerate to mask, or nasal capitals, oxygen flow should beat 15 liter per minute. It is too expensive and also presenter via nature. Thank you.